As a Canadian, I just want to say I wholeheartedly approve of Keanu Reeves and Duke Kaboom. Kids lose their toys every day. I was made to help a child. I don't remember it being this hard. Woody, somebody's whispering in your ear. Everything's gonna be okay. Hello there everybody, it's me the Canadian Movie Buff with a review of Toy Story 4. A year after Andy has left for college, Woody is starting to worry that he's no longer wanted as Bonnie's toy. Upon going on a road trip with the family and losing Forky, a toy made by arts and crafts material from Bonnie, he runs into Bo Peep and comes to terms with what kind of toy does he want to be. Toy Story 3 was the perfect way to end a trilogy. So perfect in fact that it became the third animated film in history to be nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. So when a fourth movie was announced, the response was a resounding, what? Why? The last film tied up all the loose ends. There was nothing to add. How could they possibly top this? But if there's one thing Pixar can do when it comes to sequels, it's to make them surprisingly good. The animation and voice talent never disappoint, with Reeves, Keegan-Michael Key, Jordan Peele, and Tony Hall making great additions to the roster. From Key and Peele's characters, it's essentially a G-rated Key and Peele reunion. A comedic duo that are literally attached to the hip, or in this case the hand, cranking out some of the funniest moments while also becoming unique characters in their own right. And they do make some jokes about Duke Kaboom and the kid he was allegedly owned by. And if you're Canadian, You'll really appreciate the jokes of that one. <laughs> Tony Hall was great as Forky. He's the only toy that's made from, well, trash. And a lot of the humor is derived from him wanting to become trash again or jumping back into a trash can. But eventually, over the course of the movie, he learns that he has a role to fill as a toy to Bonnie. Of course, we can't forget about this classic line. I'm trash. Doubling down on the aspect of change from the last one, it addresses whether Woody needs to be another child's toy or if he's better off as a lost toy. One that has no owner or no child. One that's free to do whatever they want and to go wherever they please. And because Bo Peep is a lost toy, it kind of tears Woody apart a bit. Finding the love of his life again, but at the same time having this role, this duty to fill. He doesn't know if he's really needed there anymore or if Bonnie is just going to cast him aside eventually, but then again going with Bo Peep will betray what he stood for in the entire trilogy and it's a really tough back and forth. It was nice to see that the movie allowed these dramatic moments in there. It didn't try to pack the movie to the brim of humor, and when there were jokes, it let them pan out naturally. And there's always something snappy to go along with it. And unlike previous entries, there wasn't really much a villain, but more of a misunderstood character. Now I kind of like the idea of Toy Story always having some sort of villain in some shape or form. The first one was a bully who liked to blow up toys, the second was a prospector who wanted to keep the entire Woody's Roundup collection together, and the third villain was a near unredeemable teddy bear who felt abandoned by his child. They kept upping the ante every time and you think with this fourth one being the last one, the villain would be some like Thanos level threat. They built her up that way but no, she's just misunderstood. A little bit of a bait and switch if I'm honest. The ending dragged itself out a bit. Like there were three points where they could have said, okay, and we're gonna end the movie here. Oh, we still got that little bit. Okay, we're burning up to here and we can now end the movie. Okay, never mind, you're still going here. Okay, okay. Let's just keep going in. Oh, come on. Is this the ending? Is this the end? Finally. It was this weird Return of the King, like five different ending scenarios where they just kept pushing back possible endings by introducing another resolution to this arc or that character or whatever. Toy Story 4 somehow managed to be just as good as a conclusion as the third film. It brought the heart, the humor, and some needed closure for the series. Now it's difficult to tell if it is the best, but what's not hard to see is that it is a total incredible ass. This now rivals Endgame as the best fourth quill of 2019. Alright, that's my review of Toy Story 4. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Leave your answers and thoughts in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you're new here. And as always, this is the Canadian Rebuff saying I hope you had a fantastic weekend at the movies. See ya!